Hi, I'm Jason with Everyday Apple, and today we're gonna to talk about the different gestures that you can use on the iPad to make you more efficient. Now, hopefully you're already using some of these, but a lot of them people didn't even realize are there, or we just haven't gotten around to learning new stuff. Let's take a look. First of all, I wanna show you how to get to Control Center and notifications. So let's start with the most basic thing first. Getting to the Control Center where you have all kinds of controls you can use for quick access, you slide down from the top right of the screen. Very similar to on the iPhone. And you can edit these, of course, in system preferences and so on. Now, if you wanna to get to the Notification Center where you have all the notifications that you have received, you don't swipe down on the right side. You actually go to the middle and swipe down. And then you've got all your notifications and you can interact with all of these, of course. All right, next, going back to your homepage when you're in an app. So how do I get back to the homepage? If I don't have a home button, if you had an older iPad, you had a home button, well, how do I get back to the homepage? Well, it's very simple. Just right from the bottom of the page, you're actually just going to flick your finger forward, just slide, not forward, but up, slide your finger up, and you're back to your home page. So fairly simple to do, and I think a lot easier than having a physical home button. So that's how that works. You can also just with four fingers, just use a pinch motion. And that does the same thing just brings you back home when you're in an application. Okay, next, how do we switch from one application to another? Uh, so switching to different applications you've been using. Uh, again, there's a couple of ways to do this. Uh, but first of all, let's talk about getting to the application switcher where you see all of your open apps, okay? So first of all, uh, let's look at how to do that. You're going to slide up from the bottom of the screen with your finger and stop about halfway, and you'll see the other app there on the left, and then you know you're into the application switcher. So now I've got all the apps that I've used recently got my comics, I've got Notion, I've got notes, mail, whatever it might be. And then you can just pick one and, and go to it. And so that's one way you can switch to a previously used app. You can also get rid of those by swiping up and say, I'm going to close that completely right now. So, um, <clears throat> but yeah, you can just choose whichever app you're going to go to at that point. And then when you're done and tap in between them just to go home. So real easy. Okay, now if you don't want to go to the application switcher and you just want to go back to the previous app you were using, there's a couple ways to do that. You know, one is it's been around for a while, just have four fingers on the screen and slide over to the right. And you can keep doing that and going back to other apps that are open one to the other. Okay, so that's a pretty quick way of doing it. Of course, now with, uh, I think with the introduction of iOS or iPadOS 15, you have this bar at the bottom of the screen and you can just slide over using that bar. Just put your finger on the bar and slide over and go back and forth between open apps that way. So that's another way to do it. I'm finding I'm starting to use that a lot now, but I still use the four fingers just to slide over as well. All right, so getting to the dock when you have an open app, let's talk about how to do that real quickly here. Uh, it took me a little bit of getting used to on this as well, but um, <clears throat> if you swipe your finger forward all the way up, that remember that takes you home like that. Uh, but if you want to see the dock just real slowly, instead of flicking your finger, just slide it up a little bit and you'll see the dock appear. And so there's some good uses for that, uh, including uh, multitasking, which is what I want to talk about next. So let's talk about how, you know, why you would bring up the dock like this. One of the reasons is you want to switch to another app on the dock, but also you might want to do some multitasking where you have two screens, one for one app and one for the other. And so if you slide the dock up like this and you've got it sitting there, you might say, well, I want to open up, let's say I'm going to open up Notion you know, or something you've got some notes in. And so there's my Notion app. I'm going to put my finger on that and slide up and it creates this little window, move it all the way over to the left side or the right side of the left. And then that creates a split screen experience there where you've got one app on the left, one app on the right, and you can continue to reference each side. Maybe you're taking some notes on something. Uh, you've got... You know, there's a lot of really good uses for this. So I use it quite a bit uh, to have split screen like this. And you can move those screens around a little bit. And then when you want to close it out, just put your finger right in the middle and whoop, slide it on over. There you go. 
Now, there's a new way to do this in iPadOS 15, and I really like this. I, I find this to be much easier, but there's three buttons at the top of the screen there. When you tap that, you'll see these three options. You say, well, I want to put this app in a split screen view so the app slides out of the way, and now you just pick whichever app you want. So it says choose another app. So I'll you know pick an app that I want to go into split screen view with. So I'll tap Notion again there, and here we are. And so those three buttons at the top of the screen make it easier to do this, I think. And um, like I say, I'm finding myself using this a lot for split screen here. And then just slide it off when you're done. Now, you don't have to do the um, split screen. You can do a floating window, which I don't use quite as much here, but uh, it is useful if, let's say, you know, messages. Good example. Uh, so you bring the dock up here, you hold down on messages and slide it over. And instead of moving to a full split screen experience, you would just bring up this window here and, and you can type a message and then get it out of the way and access it again if you need to there. But um, that can be helpful. But when you go into the application switcher, you'll see that little floating window off on the side and you can grab that in that situation and move it into a split screen view with one of those other apps open as well. So that again, that has its uses and, and there are times you might want to do that, especially with like messages. You also have the option of using a split screen view within one app. And, and the best example of this is mail, I think. When um, you know, you're inside the mail app and you want to create a new email, well, at the top, you've got the three buttons, the uh, three dots there. So that gives you the same options. You tap on that and you say, I want to put this on you know, the side of the screen. Um, actually, I want to make it a split screen. So you choose that and you've got your new email sitting there on one side and you can type your message and so on. And then on the left side, you can maybe have your inbox open, looking at other emails, maybe referencing something. So even within one app, you can do this. Then when you go to like the application, uh, application switcher, you'll see that's still there. You got the two windows right there together in application switcher. So that can be really convenient. This next one is for Apple Pen users, uh, or if you're using an alternate stylus like this one, an off-brand, uh, I'll put a link to this down in the um, description. But this is great for just doing a quick screenshot. So if you just slide up from the bottom left of the screen, you get a screenshot of whatever you're looking at. And you can go in and edit by putting some notation, some, some writing on whatever the screenshot is, and then save it uh, in your files or send it to someone. Uh, but that's kind of a nice little shortcut if you have an Apple Pen or some kind of stylus you're using. And then from the other corner, the bottom right, now you can do a quick note with notes. This is great. Um, so just slide up with your finger from the bottom right, and it brings up a quick note. And uh, so I've got one here. And some sleep notes here, but um, you know you can do a new one here as well uh, to create a note very quickly. I'm starting to use this a lot just because it's right there. And so if I'm working on something and I want to quickly throw in a note, it's a great spot to just paste something temporarily, or to get started on a note that you're going to go back to later. So just yeah, just slide up your finger from the bottom right, and you'll see the note window come up. It's a great new feature there. While we are looking at text, let's really quickly go over selecting text. You can select a word simply by double tapping over that word. So two taps and you'll select the word. If you tap three times, one, two, three, you're going to select the entire sentence. And then if you've got a paragraph, if you tap four times, one, two, three, four, you actually select the entire paragraph. So that's a nice little shortcut for selecting text instead of, you know, having to try to do it the manual way. And then if you want to copy and paste, uh, you know, it's, you've got the menu when you select text, you've got the menu there, but you can also, there's a finger gesture for this where you just take three fingers. And it's almost like you're picking up the text. So you pinch the three fingers and you'll see up at the top, it says copy. And then you want to paste it somewhere else. So you tap there and then take your three fingers and spread them out on the screen. 
and it will paste. So it's, you know, took me a couple of attempts sometimes. You know, I find that I do still use the menu quite a bit, but occasionally I'll do the copy and paste with my fingers. And I think with practice, that'll probably be something that you might get better at. So there we have it. I would love to hear your comments down below. If you have some other gestures and swipes and things that I missed or didn't cover today that you think are important and hit the like button. Always appreciate that. It's helpful to the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next video.